Hey, thanks for having us. Uh, this is Seacoast Performance Academy, also known as SPA, and this is the rinks at Exeter. The rinks at Exeter was built in 1999 by the NHL as one of the rinks they wanted to build to grow hockey. So I want to show you our facility, learn a little bit more about our program, and thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. So let's go and walk us to All right, welcome inside the rinks at Exeter here in Exeter, New Hampshire. You can see our beautiful concourse area. Uh, one quick note, uh, Bauer Hockey, global headquarters are one mile down the street, so they do a lot of things with us here and test their equipment and things of that nature. Inside of here, we have two ice rinks, a goalie training facility, many classrooms for our academy, a weight training facility, and much, much more. So let me walk you guys around and show you what we have. Over here we have our weight training facility, fully equipped with uh, all you need to train as a hockey player from the box jumping to the track. Uh, players have unlimited access to the training facility here. We have the screen on the wall to provide any additional training and development. And uh, trainers come in here and work with every team. Every team is in the weight room one to two times per week. And then players can come in, do some stretching and or do personal workouts on their own based on their workout plan. All right, here we are in one of our classroom facilities. So this is where the players come and do their classes. Right now, many of them are on the ice, but a lot of players come off the ice from their skills session and will come in and do their work. We have about 35 stations in here. You can see we always have the computers, uh, eSports room here as well. And this is where uh, one of three classrooms we have here in the building for our students. In addition to the 10 classrooms we have 15 minutes from here, where our, also we have our dorm location and uh, cafeteria. All right, this is the main building here in the concourse of uh, the rinks at Exeter. You can see a lot of our former players that have gone on to play college hockey or professional hockey up in the rafters. Uh, over here on this side, as you walk in, we have our main rink, but let me walk you down the concourse here and show you uh, our practice facility. Over here, we have our cafeteria, cafe, so players can come here for their lunchtime. Uh, some of these players come off the ice, they're hungry, they wanna get some protein, some sandwiches. So um, we have the, uh, the cafe over here with uh, many of our all-star hockey players uh, taking a break, grabbing some food between their sessions, between class, between skills. Over here, we have our goalie training facility. It also dubs as a shooting room, so players can come in here and shoot at any time. If you come a little bit closer, you'll see that this half of the sheet is actually real ice and the other half of the sheet is synthetic ice. And you'll also notice video cameras and a video board up there. The goalie training center is run by Mike Buckley and his goalie development system. Mike, Go Mike Buckley is a two-time Stanley Cup champion with the Pittsburgh Penguins. A lot of professional goalies, Tuka Rask, Mark andre Fleury, all those top goaltenders train here in their summertime in the off season. So we have one of the best goaltending development systems in America. Right here is our training facility, uh, one of our facilities where the players do a lot of their skills. Right now, you can see there's a power skating session go on. Uh, the players get two power skating sessions per week in addition to two skills uh, development each week. So right now they're on the ice with Mark Farrington working on some edge work uh, and, uh, and their skating ability. So this facility is used all day long for players and when players are not on it doing professional skill development, they can actually use the ice themselves to go on the ice and develop skills that they want to work on themselves. All right, so this is our uh, practice facility. As you can see, Mark Farrington, who's our professional skills coach, is now working with our U18 team on skill development, uh, working on edge work and power skating. And like I said, every player gets two power skating and position skills development every week. And when the ice is not being used, the players, they can come on themselves, have some free unlimited ice to work on whatever they want to work on. All right guys, this is uh, the main rink. This is our prime rink where uh, most of our main contests are played. Uh, we have uh, seating here, a beautiful scoreboard, um, and uh, this is where all our teams will play their, their matches and their, and their games. And uh, you can see the ice is being made now, but in a few minutes we're gonna have our defensemen coming on for defensemen specific skills. Our defensemen have set skills every week and our forwards have set skills as well as the goaltenders work with the goaltending development system. So every week they're getting specialized training for their position. 
This is a beautiful bar area for all the parents that want to come uh, enjoy a cocktail during the games. Also a great seating area to sit and watch the game in the comfort of uh, controlled temperature. All right, so this is our prime rink. It's called the Bauer Supreme Rink. Right now we have our defensemen that are coming on to do some defense and specific skills. In each of these rinks, we have also the locker rooms for all the teams. Let me show you what the locker rooms look like. So right here is an example of what our locker rooms look like. Each team get professional locker rooms in the building. I'm gonna walk you through our U20 locker room real quick and show you guys what that looks like. So here at uh, Seacoast Performance Academy, every player can leave their equipment here in the locker room. We try and keep the system the same, the way the helmets are, the gloves, the equipment should all be systematic. They like to keep the locker rooms nice and clean, keep it prepared for game time. So this is a good area here to watch the practices, watch the games here in our rink one. Beautiful setup for the rink and really good for the players to get out here anytime and work on their skill development. Right here is one of our newly constructed classrooms. So this is where the students will come and uh, perform their academics throughout the day. We have tables, we have teachers rooms uh, and the like. It's also a great location to watch the game for scouts uh, when school's not in session. All right, this is our campus in Chester, New Hampshire at Bush Academy. This is where all our students will go to school, have cafeteria, breakfast, lunch, dinner, as well as the dorm facilities. We have 116 beds here at Adams Hall or, and Preston Hall. We have two halls here. And uh, this is where the students live. We have currently 40 players on the spa team that live here together and then walk up the hill, which we'll show you in a minute, to go to cafeteria for, uh, for their meals. So why don't I show you inside the building? This is the main lobby of Preston Hall. We have vans that shuttle players back and forth from the hall to the ice arena. There's always a schedule put on the board every week of what time they're going to be leaving, what time they're going to be coming back, so the players are aware of what their schedule is going to be. I'll show you guys an example of a room. These are two players, one player from uh, Las Vegas and one player from Slovakia, Filip Vavro, as an example, just to show you a little bit of what a dorm room looks like for the boys. So they have, you know, fridge, microwave, Xbox, they have their beds, uh, obviously an American flag and a Slovakian flag, so a good example to show. Uh, but this is what one of the rooms look like, and we have, uh, like I said, 40 players staying in the dorms here this season. As you come up the hill here on campus, this is our main building that has our classrooms and our cafeteria. This is all where our teachers and principal are for our school at SPA. So first I'll show you, very importantly, the cafeteria. So in here is where the students will eat their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, we're currently in the middle of the day, so there's no meals right now. So this is our cafeteria area where the buffets serve for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And we have a full kitchen set up in here to be able to make you know, very large meals and portions for all the student athletes that are here at Spa and Bush Academy. So down this hallway, we have classrooms to the right and to the left. Uh, there's approximately 10 classrooms here in the building. Let me show you an example of one of the classrooms. This is our math teacher's classroom. And you can see it's set up in a very traditional classroom format. Uh, we have the projector screen, smart board, very large format uh, screen here as well, dry erase board, teacher's desk, and the whole setup here for math class and all the classrooms are set up in this exact same format. Again, there's approximately 10 classrooms here at Chester and three classrooms in Exeter, New Hampshire at the Ice Arena. Now you guys have seen a little bit about our facility, let me tell you a little bit about the Seacoast Performance Academy program, also known as SPA. Uh, we currently have four teams. We have a U14, U15, U16, and U18 team. We also have a junior team at the U20s. All of our teams play around 65 to 70 games throughout the season. That starts on August 15th and goes to uh, the end of uh, March, including national championships here in the United States. Our team does compete at the highest level. We play all the top teams in America. Uh, you may have heard of some of the programs such as Shattuck St. Mary's, Mount St. Charles, Bishop Kearney, uh, all the top play teams from Michigan or Illinois. Uh, we go to all the showcases and play all those events. So our team does travel a good amount. Uh, when our team does travel, they stay together and the team flies together, drives together, sleeps together when they're on the road and traveling. Uh, we also have a full dorm with uh, 116 beds in Chester, New Hampshire. 
So players from out of town uh, can stay in the dorms. We currently have 16 international students uh, with international student visas that are now playing with us and practicing with us on a daily basis and are part of the SPA program. Many of our players have aspirations to play college hockey or junior hockey. Uh, here in the United States, a lot of players aspire to play Division I college hockey for University of Michigan or University of New Hampshire or U Boston University, programs like that. While some players aspire to play in the CHL, the Canadian Hockey League Major Junior, and uh, will transition to that side of the border uh, up in Canada uh, after their U16 or U18 years. So we have an offering for all of the players here, uh, all different skill sets. And our academic program is very important to us as well. Uh, we have here on site three classrooms. We have four teachers that are here on site. We also have 10 additional classrooms at our campus in Chester, New Hampshire, which is about 15 minutes from here, that has state-of-the-art technology and all the curriculum for both US students as well as international students to keep up their education and make sure they complete their, their high school degree. So we're very proud of what we have here at Seacoast Performance Academy. We believe that we can provide uh, student athletes with the best environment to develop athletically as well as academically uh, towards their futures. So that's a little bit about our program. If you'd like to learn more and come visit, uh, we welcome you to come to, uh, to North America. Again, we're one hour north of Boston and we provide visits uh, to players throughout the season. Uh, so please feel free to contact us to learn more. Thank you.